So, today's YouTube video is going to be about how we are going to turn this messy room full of no into a YouTube studio slash office. But before I give you a little bit more details about this project, since I just came back from the gym and I haven't even showered or eaten anything today, I am going to make myself a protein shake and then we'll start with the video. Much better. Let's get back to our messy room over there. So here's a little bit of backstory for you guys. Since we don't have a dedicated office, we are working from home. And this very room used to be our bedroom and our current bedroom used to be our office. And there were like four desks in there because uh, we actually planned to have more employees. We actually had them like two years ago, but then this didn't really work out. So now the biggest room in our apartment actually was our office. And that didn't really make a lot of sense. So we switched it up with our bedroom and one of the smallest rooms actually now is the YouTube studio but it only fits one desk and that is kind of a problem because when Belle and I want to work simultaneously one of us has to go to the kitchen table or to a Starbucks or somewhere because we didn't really have a lot of space so this room I'm in right now is a little bit bigger than our current YouTube studio and should fit two desks perfectly plus there's a little bit more space to move around when we recording YouTube videos. And since we're rapidly downsizing and trying to be more minimalistic, we are trying to get rid of a lot of our stuff, a lot of our equipment we don't really need and a lot of other stuff as well. So what we did is we just dumped all of the stuff that we're going to sell, that we're going to throw out, that we don't need anymore. We just dumped it all into this room and it's a mess. So we have a lot of old audio equipment, a lot of suitcases that we don't need anymore because obviously we don't have that much equipment anymore. A lot of tripods and old desks and chairs and a mattress and all that kind of stuff. So here's the plan. I'm going to empty out this entire room and then we're going to start building a YouTube studio slash office from scratch. And I will let you take part in the journey. And therefore I have this GoPro that I'm going to attach somewhere in the corner over there. So you can see the process of me actually emptying this out and then refilling it with everything we need. And by the way, I hate doing stuff like this. I hate moving, I hate carrying stuff around, I hate organizing, I hate cleaning. But I'm going to do it anyway because this is going to be a pretty cool YouTube studio afterwards. So let's start. That should do it. So this was step one and this was actually way quicker than I thought it would be. It didn't even take 20 minutes, but now everything that was in here and is not needed for the new YouTube studio is now in the current bedroom next door. And yeah, now we need to just grab all the stuff from the YouTube studio and put it in here and repopulate this room. And I think this is going to be pretty cool. So this is what the old setup looked like. And quite frankly, the new studio is going to look pretty much the same just a little bit more roomy with another desk in there. And now we start and take all this into the other room, which is probably going to take a lot longer than just emptying out the messy room. So let's just start. So basically, instead of helping me, she is just going to dance around and taking selfies on the kitchen floor. Typical bell, I don't know what to say.
All right, so maybe she is helping a little. So for some reason the GoPro gave out on us, but now that we already have our first stuff in here, I just used the ERSR for the rest of the repopulation of the YouTube studio. It's better quality anyway. So as for the big things and all the furniture, this room is almost ready. And that didn't even take as long as I thought. So, pretty much when it comes to the big things, we now have a stand-up desk by IKEA. This is pretty much it and I love it. It's really great if you can just work standing up or you just choose sitting down. So this is pretty, pretty cool. We had two of them, but we already sold one of those and I kind of regret this now, but this one was white, so it didn't really fit the theme anyway. So the next one is just, you know, another simple IKEA desk. So. If we were to work simultaneously in this room, we can now do this and we have a lot more space than in the other room. And behind me is the cupboard that we already had in the other YouTube studio, which is going to be used as our background. And I think that's pretty cool because now you can fill it with all kinds of stuff that actually makes for a cool background. And let's do this now. So now let's put some cool and decorative things in the background, like our monkey pixels head, some weird bottle with stuff in it, a kind of lens, big old titty, big old titty, a plant, some egg-shaped lights, Ding. some video equipment, an old Polaroid cam, a PlayStation controller, because, I don't know, why not? Maybe a GoPro. So finishing up this room, getting all the equipment in here, plugging everything in and decorating it will definitely take some time. So I'll be back with you once everything is set up properly and then I'll give you a complete tour of the new YouTube studio slash office. So guys, it's quite some time later and the office slash YouTube studio actually has come together. I even showered and now I want to show you the finished result. Not 100% finished, there will be a little bit more decoration and it isn't soundproof at all. But the thing is, we're not 100% sure if we are going to stay in this apartment. So I don't really want to plaster all the walls with soundproof material if we have to actually tear everything down in a couple of weeks or months. So uh, we actually have to go with this for now, but I think the audio is quite all right when actually recording on the YouTube setup instead of just recording here, because now obviously there's a lot of echo. But without further ado, let's start with the setup we have here. So when you enter the studio on the left side, we actually have a lot of storage boxes and these are neatly organized into stuff like everything power related like AC units, power cords, then just general cables like, you know, ethernet cables, HDMI, USB, you name it. And there's everything audio related on top and a lot of accessorizes like belts and ND filters, you know, all that kind of stuff neatly organized in different categories. Right here on the bottom, and I think I need to find a better solution for this soon, is our battery corner. So we charge all of our batteries from the Xeon Crane to all our monitor batteries as well as the camera batteries itself. So, and right next to it is our first desk. This is where Belle is currently working. She has set up her MacBook Pro with an external keyboard, a mouse, her headphones, a little bit of plastic plans going on here and just a regular IKEA desk with a cool IKEA chair. And this is pretty much it, but there's no really hers or mine. So whoever wants to work on any desk is just welcome to, and it's not necessarily this is her desk and this is mine. There's also some storage. The left one is for Belle, the right one is for me, where we keep just, you know, some cables and stuff we need to work with. So let's go to the second desk and the second desk where I'm currently set up is another IKEA desk but this time this one is actually a stand-up desk. So by pressing these buttons we can actually use to stand up which is something I really really like and not having to sit down all the time while editing or doing some 
office work in general. We have the same chair here and same as well. I have my MacBook Pro set up here with an external keyboard. I also have my iPad Pro on the left side for uh, using it as a second monitor when working. I also have an iPad mini here, which is just standing here and I don't really use it while working. And here on the right side, I actually have a hub setup, which is pretty cool because it only needs one cable and it can power your laptop. You can hook up an external card reader, audio sources or external hard drives. And with just plugging in one cable, there's everything you need. So if you're on the run and if you're working with a MacBook, I totally um, recommend getting a hub so you don't have to plug in all the cables and unplug them whenever you want to take your laptop with you. So having one hub with only one cable is definitely a must have in an office with a MacBook Pro. So right here in the corner, we have Mr. Shyman P. You might have seen it on Bell's Instagram story. And this is some really cool designer office lamp. I really like them. Cool little funny background story. We actually got them from my parents. My sister got one and I got one. My sister didn't want to have them. So I took both and one is currently being set up in the office right here. So as for the actual YouTube studio equipment, I have the second EOSR with the 28-70 RF 2.0 lens set up here on a Manfrotto tripod uh, with a small HD monitor because it's just better because it's a little bit bigger to monitor where you're sitting and if everything is exposed right. And as for audio, I'm using the same clamp that I showed you before. This is actually made for a GoPro but if you actually exchange the GoPro mount with a regular tripod one quarter inch screw then you can actually hook everything up like a microphone or other things and this is pretty cool. So when sitting here and recording the YouTube videos this is actually pretty cool because the microphone is pretty close to my face. Before that I actually used a boom pole on the light stand to get the microphone close to my face but since this is also an office I really like to limit the tripods and all the kind of stuff that gets in the way and get away with the least amount of equipment possible. And this is actually a pretty cool option because it gets pretty close to my face and if I want to get it out of the way it's just easily tucked away in one of our cupboards. So next up we have a light stand and a boom pole which is bringing our favorite YouTube light close to my face when recording our YouTube videos which is pretty cool and we already reviewed this light and it's fairly cheap it's very lightweight to travel with and we really really like it. It's currently on about 7% power which is nothing and it illuminates my face for YouTube uh, videos perfectly so I really really like this and we're not recording YouTube videos and just working I'll just tuck it away in a corner because it's again not as big of a footprint like an aperture 120d for example so I really really like this light and I can't recommend it enough. Speaking of light we also have a ceiling light up here and these are two Philips U lights. Hey Siri turn office to orange. So we can control these lights via app or via Siri and just, you know, turn them into any color we want. So actually working, I like to have it a little bit more dimmed, especially when color grading. Uh, you can also change them to neutral colors. So that I really, really like. And it's quite comfortable having them in the office. We also have more lights here in the back and this is just some cheap light for about a hundred bucks that I used a blue gel for to illuminate the background to give it a little bit more color contrast. And there's another accent light here in the back. It's also from you Philips and you can also turn them in any color you want. And I really like to have it in the background to get this color contrast from the blue and the orange. And I really, really quite like this. So this is pretty much it. This is our new office slash YouTube studio. And I'm kind of proud of it because we used the least amount of equipment possible to actually make this happen. And this was quite important because I didn't really want to have a separate YouTube studio as well as an office. And with this solution, we used so few equipment that everything is easily and quickly tucked away in a corner. So we can use this as a general office. And whenever I want to record a YouTube video, I just set everything up in less than five minutes, start recording, and I have a pretty decent looking YouTube studio. 
So there you have it. This was the tour of our new office starting from scratch. Again, we need to find a solution for the audio because it's still really echoey. But with the microphone so close to my face, I don't think it's that big of a problem. Let me know what you think. Did you like this little tour? And if you did, subscribe for more. And I hope to see you on the next one.